Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a video on how to get rid of your tan. So this is when you go on holiday and if you're of a tan complexion anyway, or even if you're not of a tan complexion anyway, um, you don't want to be any other colour apart from your own colour. I always have this problem because if you've got darker skin, not many people know this, I always get asked this from people like, can you tan? Of course I can tan. People with darker skin tan more because we've got more melanin in our skin. I've been looking at ways for years to not get a tan um, or to get rid of my tan, which is an easier way. <laughs> so first of all, I'm going to tell you how to try and avoid getting a tan in the first place. And I'm actually going to be showing you in my bath <laughs> um, how I get rid of my tan. I'm actually going to show you what I did when I went for a season in Ibiza and got rid of my tan because I was there for three months and I wasn't really that tanned considering I was in the sun every single day. So yeah, I'm going to start off by telling you what you can do to avoid getting a tan in the first place. So I always, always use Factor 50. My friends always think I'm mad. Most of my friends are Caucasian, so when we go on holiday, they're in the sun and I'm there with the umbrella over me. And I still managed to get a tan, even with the umbrella. <laughs> when I went on this trip to Ibiza, I actually bought loads of cans of this 50, um, 50 sun block. And it was from Banana Boat. I'm not sponsored by them, by the way. Um, but that is the one I used because someone asked me, actually, how comes I don't really have much of a tan? And that was the one I told them about. Um, I actually ordered loads of them afterwards. I haven't been on holiday for so long, so it's a bit of a waste. Um, but yeah, I do have a lot of them in my house. Um, but yeah, the Factor 50 sunblock, it does work, but it doesn't completely block the sun. I remember when I went to Cyprus and I got in from, I just got in and had a shower. I'm always showering when I'm on holiday. Um, when I got in and had a shower, I didn't even recognise myself in the mirror. I scared myself because I was so dark. Um, so I get really, really dark usually. But when I started using this sunblock, I stopped getting so dark. And I don't think I used Factor 50 before. I used like Factor 30 or 20 because I was a bit embarrassed using Factor 50. Um, but I don't care now. <laughs> I would use Factor 50 if I have to. Try and avoid the sun. Try and avoid wearing black because I love black anyway. But wearing black attracts the sun. Um, the lighter colour you wear, the better. If you wear like yellow and white, you do attract insects, that's the only thing. If you wear black, it attracts the sun, so you don't want to do that. Often on holiday in the daytime, I wear like a maxi dress or something that covers me up a bit. And it does actually keep you cool more than when you wear hardly anything. Um, obviously, we all want to parade around in our bikinis and stuff like that. Um, I usually do that, but the time where the sun is out the most, I think, is between the morning and 1pm or 2pm. And I think the rays get less and less as the day goes on. So what I tend to do as well, when I'm on holiday, I like to have a good sleep. So I'll have a good sleep. And by the time I get out, the rays have, like, gone. <laughs> if I wake up in the morning, have breakfast, get ready, by the time I do that, it's about 12 o'clock. And then I'll sit under the umbrella for a bit. And then when it gets to 1 I'll get in the pool, it's like really scheduled. <laughs> but like that is the way sort of I do it. And then that way you don't get as much sun because you often find, especially people that like to get tan, they're up first thing in the morning, laying on the deck chairs with their like carrot oil, <laughs> ready for the sun and want to get a tan. And I'm the opposite. So weird, but whenever I've been in the water, I get more of a tan. That's in the morning, that is. So that's why I say I try and wait at least till 1pm to get in the pool because that way the rays have gone down a bit. So I do love swimming in the water on holiday. It's one of my most favourite things to do on holiday. So I wouldn't stop that. Um, but yeah, there's just a time period where you just need to like try and avoid the sun a bit. Um, which isn't nice, obviously. But if you are in like a hot country anywhere, I wonder how that is for you. Because maybe you're used to the sun and you don't pick it up as much. I don't know what happens in that scenario. Um, but yeah, they're the ways I try and avoid getting a tan, um, and they're very natural ways. <laughs> as long as you know when the UV rays are actually coming down, that's when you need to avoid being in direct sunlight really, um, to get a tan. One thing I do like when I do get a bit of a tan when I was in Ibiza, which I am going to show you how to get rid of a tan, is that I used to have a little bit of a burnt nose and it did like contour my nose a bit and I did like that. Um, but apart from that, I'm not a big fan of the sun. And also, I don't know why, but sometimes I get like marks here on my arms and whenever I go on holiday, they disappear, which is really nice. Um, and I do feel more glowing. I do like a little bit of a suntan, 
but not too much. So now I'm going to go into my bathroom and show you how to get rid of your suntan. This is how I got rid of my suntan anyway. Every night I tend to have a bath because I like to have clean sheets and when I get into my bed I want it to all be clean. But obviously if you're on holiday sometimes you might get in at 7 in the morning and then you're not going to do that. I just want to explain as well, it is a hot bath that you have, not like scalding hot, <laughs> but you can't even step into it. But it's just going to be a hot bath. I love hot baths anyway, I don't know about you. Um, I don't like just lukewarm baths. I am absolutely freezing when I have a lukewarm bath. And also my nipple piercing, I've realised. If I have a lukewarm bath, it really hurts. So I don't do it. I'm just going to show you now what I did that season while I was in Ibiza for three months. And this literally kept my tan at bay. So as you can see, this is quite a hot bath. I've just washed my hair as well and I've left the conditioner in. I like to do two things at once. So obviously I've just run a hot bath and aside from the hot bath, the other thing you'll need are exfoliating gloves. These are from Soap and Glory. I love them because they're like hardcore exfoliating gloves because not many are. And the other thing I use is Original Source. And this is exactly the same one as I use in Ibiza. So I thought I'd use the same one but ideally something with citrus because anything with lemon or lime that's always good for lightening so say if you put lemon juice on your hair and went out in the sun your hair will get lighter um, so I think that sort of works similar with this so that is why I use this and this and it actually was by accident um, that I lost my tan it wasn't that I bought this specifically for this I actually love the smell of this because it reminds me of my old sweets that I used to eat when I was little so that's why I bought it it wasn't um, I, didn't, I didn't purposely buy it um, I bought these yesterday so hence why it's still in the packaging so I'm gonna open them pull the tag off so obviously put your glove on and also when I was in the shop they also had like hardcore like scrubbing um, pads as well which you can use I'm sure as well not just the sake of glory ones. This isn't a sponsored video or anything so I'm not promoting them but this is what I always use. You'll probably see in my other past hauls that I do love a bit of sake of glory. Um, so yeah. So, I literally just put my hand in the water and put a bit of this in. Also, I just want to add as well that I like to soak in the bath. So after I've soaked in the bath for a little while, it always helps to soak your body in water as well and that makes it much more easier. So as you can see, I'm just going in circular motion and just washing myself literally the way I would anyway. Um, and yeah, and you just do your whole entire body, obviously. Um, and I'm obviously not gonna show you it me naked. Usually you would do it naked, but I'm obviously not gonna do that if I am on YouTube. And that is not my style. So yeah, you just literally scrub all over your body. Um, and I'd say a little bit harder than you normally would. Obviously don't run the bath so it's scalding your skin and obviously don't scrub yourself so it's like literally taking your skin away even if it's not that hard these are quite hardcore but if you've got the other ones or never used other ones in the past like mittens they're not that hardcore and they don't really do much so with them you may have to put some elbow grease into it but with these you don't you can literally feel it obviously don't hurt yourself obviously don't make yourself go red because that's not ideal but um yeah so once you've done this after about a week you'll notice a difference. There's a certain time limit where your skin renews itself um, and if it's just before bedtime as well, your body's always renewing itself while you're asleep and that's probably the best time to do it. You're going to do this and the next thing you know it's like another shade lighter, it's not like that. Um, but you are going to notice a difference over a week and you probably need to take a picture before and after to notice the difference because you know when it's on yourself you don't really know. It stops your tan from going to that level of really really darkness. I like my colour on my skin and I like it to stay that colour and that's the way I do it but um, yeah so that is literally it and also this is great for like, I, as I said I get little lumps there and it's great to get rid of them like it's great in general to wash with like exfoliating mittens because you you should wash properly anyway. 
obviously when you do this you do all over your body um, I tend to get more darker on my back and my belly I don't know why and my arms um, that's the places I tend to get the darkest so I like obviously want them to be all the same colour. Do you, do you ever find that as well? Like different parts of your body are more darker than others. And I feel like doing this in general like regulates it and evens out your skin tone. Because when I always have a shower, I never ever, um, my body's always a different colour. But when I have a bath every night, which is what I do, um, all my body seems to be the same colour. Apart from like certain points of my body, but the majority of it is the same colour. Whereas before, like my boobs would be really light and then my arms would be dark and my belly would be dark. Whereas when I'm in the bath, I don't know what it is. Yeah, it's so much better and it does even out my skin tone, especially when I do this. Um, and literally, I feel like I've just told you how to have a wash. <laughs> but that is exactly what I use and I was asked by a few people of my skin complexion as well what I did when I got back from my beeper because I was like oh my god I don't even look tanned <laughs> so um, I told them what I did so I really hope you found this helpful and if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video